All right, video number seven in the mini SAS course. What I want to talk about now are custom functions in SAS. So we've already talked about mix-ins, which was I could create something inside of here at mix-in, give it a name, whatever I want to call it. I can optionally pass in parameters and then anything that I type here. So I could put a whole bunch of properties, something like all of this inside of here. And then all of this content would be rendered wherever I make reference with an at include to this. Okay, so that's mix-ins. Functions are similar to that, but they're closer to JavaScript functions in that you have one value that's coming back from them. So you can use functions to calculate something, you can use it to combine different things, but it's when you're looking for one particular thing, not a big block of CSS, just one thing. So as a simple example, I've got font size here for my H1 tag. Currently the H1 tag, what it's doing here, I'm just going to save and I'm going to run this once so we can take a look at main.css. Here's what the H1 is currently rendering. So to REM, that is my large size that was declared inside of my vars file right there. And that's what I'm using here, the LG variable. What I want to do is I want to be able to double that. I'm going to create a function to double that. So I can pass in any number and I'm going to get the double of that value, including the unit coming back for me. So let's start by including our functions file. So I just created another partial called underscore functions. I'm going to include that and this is where I'm going to put my utility functions. So we do that functions. Oops, need quotation marks around it, of course. There we are. Now that's going to be included. To create my function, if this were just JavaScript, I would write function, give it a name, parentheses, curly braces, and I would say return something. If I'm going to pass in a variable, let's say size, then I would return size times two. This is perfectly legal syntax in SAS as well. So you're taking a variable that's passed in, you need the dollar sign in front of it, and then this is multiply. We can use any one of the mathematical operators, plus, minus, divide, modulus, or multiply. So we've got that times two, and this will, SAS will also take into account the unit. So if I pass in px, it'll be, so if 20px would become 40px, if I passed in 3REM, the result is going to be 6REM. So it's going to keep the unit for me. Now, the only thing I need to do to make this work in SAS, the only thing that's going to be different than if you were writing a function in JavaScript, is I have to put the at symbol in front of both the function and the return keywords. This now will work. This will take whatever size I pass in, double it, and send that back. So my function is going to be called double. I'm going to come back in here. And instead of just LG, I'm going to call my function double. And the variable LG, which was coming from over here, 2.0 REM, that 2.0 REM is going to be passed into the function. And the result is going to come back as 4 REM. Let's try it out. Run it. Come over to main. And there it is. Now it's four REM. So it took the two, doubled it, and kept the unit on the end. And that's it. That's custom functions in SAS. So you can write functions to do any sort of calculations. You want to calculate column widths. You want to calculate font sizes dynamically based on other factors. You want to double font sizes, or you want to have a base size for something, or a base color for something, and then do some calculations on the values. Functions, custom functions, are a great way to do that. So I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you found it useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.